Hey guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. It's time for our evening Bitcoin wrap up. So if you guys smash the like button and we'll go straight over to those charts. Um, yeah, so the trend line we drew in this morning, interestingly enough, has been um, very precisely guiding um, the Bitcoin price up. Um, so um, yeah, we're making some progress here. Um, Obviously, we can pretty clearly draw a pretty clear um, ascending channel here. Um, and obviously, that can potentially break to the downside. So we've got to be um, aware of that fact. Um, let me just go to that arrow. Um, but yeah, when, when, when will that probably come in? Probably, um, probably will get resisted at this level. I don't expect us to break through it straight away. Um, yeah i mean this price action as well isn't necessarily indicative of um <laughs> of the fact we are going to break straight up and um, this kind of looks to me like we are going to drop out of the channel play this range out a bit and um, potentially over the weekend um and then um later on in the weekend maybe when cme cme is open maybe we'll break up uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll get some test down to the downside over this weekend. Um, but we've obviously got this four hour nine here that we are now trading above. Um, and as per how I trade the TD, um, that does um, basically signal uh, more upside from here. Um, but realistically, um, you don't want to buy resistance anyway. And we're trading at um, basically um, sixty dollars away from resistance. So there's not a lot of not a lot of meat on those bones trade wise, uh, but overall though overall it's constructive price action. Um, it is constructive. Um, it's what we wanted to see. Is what we wanted to see moving up, taking out this uh, resistance, back testing it as support, um, and yeah, and then move, making our way back up to test the test the upside. Um, so yeah, we're gonna explode up. We could we could do that. I mean, channels these um, channels ascending channels can break out to the upside. Um, that is obviously possible. Um, moving averages looking good on the four hour, but not that we pay pay much attention to them on the four hour. Um, but yeah, TD wise, we had a we actually had a nice um, TD sell on the eight hour there, um, and that subsequently. Um, didn't didn't never traded below never closed a candle below just zoomed to the upside and obviously again like I say taking out the top of the nine it just indicates more upside um, but again this was at resistance the lower resistance so obviously you couldn't really you wouldn't really want to be taking that trade um, so yeah realistically we've got this 12 hour nine I think we spoke about that coming up this morning and uh, this 12 hour nine um, round about this resistance in this ascending channel i mean for me this is lining up for a test of this resistance maybe a spike above um towards the top of this channel up here maybe well it will be over here because it'll be the next candle um and then um yeah potential move down to test the bottom of the range um uh, might sound a bit a, quite a specific um scenario but yeah that's kind of what i would think um Realistically, though, we could get a massive acceleration off this nine candle. Um, again, you you guys know I, I do like to say we can get massive accelerations on the nine candles. We could get a massive acceleration taking us all the way up to basically ten thousand. Um, I think there will be a lot of stops, um, a lot of um, liquidity above in this zone here. So don't don't rule that out in a twelve hour candle um, where we've basically got fourteen hours to the end of the nap that candle. So. Um, Three out, two out, two hours, forty minutes, forty-five minutes until we're on that candle, um, and then we've got twelve hours potentially of some acceleration actually to the upside. So definitely something to consider there. But then I would expect that to be rejected, especially if we go up to here, uh, be rejected. But then um, I mean, realistically, we'd want to be finding support here. Um, we'll be finding it there straight away. Um, I'm not so sure. Um, but either way, we'll be turning around the longer time, longer term time frame um, oscillators, the longer time frame oscillators anyway. Um, so we will be. Um, we, it is obviously constructive for price. Um, to the downside, I mean, downside is still pretty clear. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty clear for me. It's obviously this um, this old support. Um, and I mean, as it stands, as it stands, um, if we ignored that one. Um, and just look back to here. We obviously haven't made a higher high. I know it might sound a bit ridiculous ignoring this one, um, but um, <laughs> I mean, this is just um, this is just part of the. Um, you could look at this not necessarily as a higher as a as a lower high. 
you could look at this as part of the the process um, of us breaking out of this channel and this being the break up out of this channel so in which case you'd look at this as the process of breaking out here as opposed to considering it a a basically a higher uh, a high based on these lower highs um i don't know how you guys feel about that but that that is it is a valid way of looking at that um looking at that process we've got going on there um but yeah let's go over to the daily um, yeah, daily just looking really good. Daily looking good. That is a nice, um, basically a, a long-legged, long-legged dildo, firefly, um, whatever you want to call it, dragonfly candle, um, candle. Um, so yeah, potential, potential um, breaking above this on a daily tomorrow, which would be actually be two hours breaking above this daily, being a daily doji candle. Um, yeah, would actually um, signal more upside. So maybe that could give us the acceleration up um into that 12 hour nine um but yeah i mean but but i am saying i mean i would expect some resistance here this channel as well this channel to me looks very much like um we'll break down and test some downside um i don't think we'll obviously come all the way down to 9200 but i think if we get enough of a push up on this nine um, nine 12 hour nine i think we'll get a, a drop down to 9500 over the weekend and I think we'll see some, I think we'll just see sideways. Um, and then what I think will happen is the altcoins will get a massive pump as Bitcoin trades sideways. As we all know, that's how that's how it likes to work. Um, so, yeah, we'll have a look at the um, stochastics. Um, four hour um, should be, yeah, it's starting to move back up again. This is what you want to see, though, four hour moving up in this bullish zone. Um, it is obviously is, is very constructive for price action, um, extremely constructive for price action. Um, if we have a look at the 10 hour and the 12 hour, 10 hours there or thereabouts, 12 hours actually um, not really turning all the way back over at the moment, looking like it just wants to keep pushing up. Um, <clears throat> daily, again, this is the one that's got us. Daily is just strong, strongly moving up. Didn't get didn't get too low and now we are obviously moving up. Um, I don't really look at these horizontal levels as important, uh, more just the actual, the actual level um, to say how bullish or not we are. And then can this week, can we turn this over when we get a new tick on this candle? Can we turn this round? Um, it will need about nine, we'll need about 9,900 to, to fully turn that around. But anything, anything around where we are or higher, we're starting to, it's starting to, it's starting to lose steam. Um, so yeah, it is Friday. It's good. We have got a weekend coming up. Um, there is, um, obviously we've got some, we've got a bit of a, a little bit of a sell off in the stock market. Nothing major. We've obviously got a massive rally in gold, um, as you can see. Just an, it's just an amazing rally. This looks a lot like the topping, the topping formation that we not the topping formation, but the actual breakout formation we had in Tesla. Um, if I actually show you this real quick, um, not that I just want to be sh showing you just anything. Uh, yeah, here's Tesla. It's looking a lot like this um, pattern that we had going on here. Look, and then we had obviously a massive move up. Um, also, I wanted to show you, yeah, we'll just go over to stocks. Um, not that one, <laughs> not this one. Where's the one with my drawings on? This one, <laughs> this one, guys. So, this I actually drew a while back. Um, obviously, these circles, um, I drew this channel. Um, swing failure, I mean, this is the acceleration into the 12 hour candle that I'm talking about um, in Bitcoin. There, there you have an example of it, an acceleration and an immediate rejection. That is, is literally what I'm talking about in Bitcoin. Um, and yeah, some sideways. I was basically saying we'll come back down and test this um, trend line. We had, we broke through it. We op obviously opened um, um, basically below it today. Obviously, we gapped open, gapped at the open of the NASDAQ. Um, and we are trying to regain this trend line. We gain this trend line, obviously looking good, good for push back up if we don't regain it um, and then I mean this is our first horizontal target and then realistically uh, where's the daily 21 daily 20 daily 200 sorry daily 200 is down here I mean again you can see this more clearly on the daily we uh, we've lost the daily 21 as well um, and I mean we have closed <laughs> we have closed the Nasdaq so we have closed below it but it's making a temp it's making a beeline for it I would wait to Monday if Monday basically closes below um, the level we're at now in the Nasdaq then 
then yeah we might as well just stick a fork in it because it is done it is done we've had a, a blow off top in formation we've had a basically a failed a failed new high um, and well if we we've lost this trend line and obviously if we close another candle below this one um we have definitely lost the trend line um and i mean re yeah realistically i'll extend this horizontal along um realistically that i mean i'll move this up a little bit this is this is where i would be targeting um <laughs> on a good day <laughs> On a bad on a bad day, we've got to be targeting the 200 daily 200, um, and um, on a very bad day, we're targeting new lows, but we're not going to target new lows. We're not about that life. Um, so yeah, so interesting week coming ahead. Yeah, like I said, interestingly, that is sort of what I was talking about in Bitcoin. I didn't actually know that was there um, or remember that was there. I've obviously looked at it before. But what I was talking about with these nine candles, that's just the sort of acceleration you get into a nine candle. Um, and then, obviously, you can then potentially get severe rejection, which is what we could get very easily. That candle could look exactly like that NASDAQ candle. Um, a push on the daily, on the 12 hour nine, up into here, a big wick up and then a big slam down. Literally exactly like this, almost the same through the channel obviously we were above the channel there i mean depending on how exactly how you drew it but yeah all the way up and then slammed all the way down yeah i mean that's just how i view price action it's just um it's just fractals um same similar price action that happens again and again you see it again it's just how markets move it's why patterns work it's why it's why candlestick analysis works and yeah that's what i would see here so yeah potentially a nice little blow off top um, but that doesn't have to be the case. Obviously, it doesn't have to be. We can have this move up and we can stay up here and we can have no no dramas, no no nothing, no shenanigans. Um, but these 12 hour nines are looking pretty good. Look, if this was a 12 hour nine, took us up. This was a 12 hour nine, took us up. This was a 12 hour uh, nine sell, took us down. This was a 12 hour nine, took us up. So you kind of have to expect some sort of downside rejection off this 12 hour nine. But um what what level that will be from is what obviously remains to be seen so yeah that was that's it guys um yeah i'll have more videos over the weekend to keep you updated with price action um so thanks for listening remember this is not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i will yeah I'll catch you guys tomorrow